Yo, 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 what's going on, man? It's your boy Rick Taylor back with another episode of that Rick Taylor podcast. And I'm here with a special guest tonight, man. Um, one of the best DJs in the city, if not the best. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Who I'm here with, man? Nudy Forever. That's right, Nudy yeah, Forever. Y'all know what it is, on? man. What's going on? Nothing much, man. Welcome to the platform, man, um, to the podcast. Yeah. Um, appreciate you for coming through. Um, for sure, for sure. I watch your, your podcast all the time. Oh, that's dope, man. I yeah. appreciate that. Definitely. And you know, um, we like to let everybody come up here, like uh, rappers, DJs, artists, businessmen, business women, um, yeah. whatever you do, this this a platform for you. And um, we like to let, let, let we like to let the fans know more about you, about who you is and what you do, and like let you come tell your story and like give game to the people who yeah. want to know what you do. So um, you know what I'm saying um, we gonna kick it off like this, man. Um. Where was you born and raised, my boy? I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, where did you grow up in Milwaukee? Um, I grew up on the north side, capital, down mm-hmm. the street. From, you know what I'm saying? Capital. Down the street. Yeah. yeah. I, um, in Milwaukee, I, I lived on I lived on Capitol as well. Yeah, 16th tw- and Cap. Yep. You said, what, what one? 16th. Yeah, I lived in 11th the Cap um, for a little bit of time, and then I... Um, I lived on 27 and off like off 27 and okay. cab. So, you know. Yeah. Now let me ask you, like, what was your childhood like growing up in Milwaukee mm. and growing up in that area? See, with well, my childhood, like, like I'm coming from like the end of that, like when we used to go outside yeah. and play and didn't yeah. even have our phone. Like, I'm at the end of that. So, like, it was just fun, you know. I played football. Yeah. I always DJ. I've been DJing since I was 10 years old. So I always been doing that. And shit, just growing and just learning, you know what I'm saying? I never was like a in the streets type of kid. Like yeah. I was kind of like, this is my age. Yeah, I, I wasn't in the streets neither. I said I was like to my like, just a cool kid, man. Yeah. Just like uh, I wasn't trying to be you know, something I wasn't. I knew people was in the streets and stuff like yeah. that, but that wasn't my lane. Yeah, because all of my friends are in the streets, so exactly. it's like. I gotta be the misfit of it. <laughs> exactly, you gotta be. It gotta be one person on the bunch that like can go the other way and. You know what I'm saying? You got to have that one individual friend that ain't into what you is, but he know about Definitely. it. Definitely. <clears throat> now, growing up, man, what was your household like? Man, it was beautiful. I mean, um, just doing, like I said, just being outside, having a good family. Mom, dad still, you know, they still together. They still, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I got a little sister, so, you know, just... Having good having good moments, good memories is just. I never was like I never like had to, you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. I always had everything. Right. You know what I'm saying I could say I was spoiled. You know what I'm saying I can yeah. say that, but to an extent, you know what I'm saying to what my parents could give me, I couldn't just get. You know what I'm saying, but I did have everything. <laughs> right, right. <clears throat> you had siblings. Um. Yeah, I had one sister. Okay. Um, one little sister. Now, um, you were spoiled. <laughs> how was like, or in a sense of way you said like um, how was that growing up like did your parents like was it a certain um, time like where they was like okay you gotta get out and get your own you gotta get yeah, like, like like that? like 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 I said though I always had my own money because I always DJ like yeah. I, I've been DJing since like getting paid gigs since I was ten years old that's literally. crazy yeah like I always had my own <laughs> money crazy. so it was like. I always was the type of guy that always had the Jord- the newest Jordans. Yeah. Like my dad, like they didn't do that. They wasn't doing that just to like, oh mm-hmm. uh, here, son, give me. Like they was just doing that because they do that. You know what I'm saying? They have the new, the latest thing. So I was always with that. Mm-hmm. So you know when they told me like around 13 or 14, just kind of when I found like my own lane of just paying for just anything I wanted. And right. then I didn't I just stopped asking them for things. Just, right. You know what and, I'm saying? I, and that gotta be a blessing for the parents yeah. when you ain't gotta come and ask them for nothing. I still ask here and there, but it's just be on like some funny shit because they know I got it anyway. So. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> now who is Nudie? Who is Nudie, man? We know you as a DJ, but who is you as a person? Um Nudie as a person, my grandmother gave me that name. So that that that's special just the name just special but nudie as a person is like man i just like to get fly i like to smoke my weed and i like to listen to music and i like women you got a vibe yeah <laughs> that's all yeah. i do bro i don't like nothing else bro i don't like like weird like guns and stuff like i mean yeah. I don't, i'm not a gangster bro like but i'll be i, be, I mean i'm with the gangsters but i just be chilling bro i'll be in 
Bro, if I'm not DJing or at a booking, bro, I'm at home smoking weed, buying clothes online. Yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a life, bro. That I ain't, ain't that wrong with that. I'm the same way, bro. I don't like to be laid back, bro. Yeah. I don't like to be all into that extra stuff, bro. Like yeah. It, it, you give me a player vibe, bro. Yeah. Like, um, what I'm saying, like, laid back player vibe, confidence. You know, you love the women and all Hell that. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you see because you seem like a person that people gravitate to. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, ha- has it always yeah. been like, uh, you know, have you always been that person that? Because it's like you got a lot of confidence, you got a lot yeah. of swagger, yeah. and you just seem like a fun, funny person. Like, yeah. has you always have you always been that person? Yeah, I have, I have. Like, I have always been the like the party of the, the light of the room. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even when I'm going through, you know, I'm just now coming out of like a depression. I just lost my grandmother last year, so mm. I'm just still trying to find my way back into just being myself again. Right. So you know that's challenging, but other than that, yeah, I'm still. Man, I just live my life, bro. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry to hear about your grandma too. <laughs> yeah, bro. that was a. That's a big part of like my my life and career. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know how yeah. that should be. Rest in peace to your grandma, man. Rest <clears throat> in peace. Now let's get into this DJ and the music and everything, bro. Yeah, let's get into it. That's what you, I came to talk about. You man. said you've been DJ <laughs> since you was ten, bro. Like, yeah, like how, bro. who, who, or what inspired you to get into? DJing? Um, man. So who inspired me was like my mom and my father. Like they see my mom is like the neo soul R and B, Jill Scott, yeah. Erica Badu, you know, yeah. Jill Pele, all things like that. My dad is like Wu Tang, yeah. his favorite rapper Nas, Jay Z, like oh yeah, man, your household was lit, man. Yeah, for real, like dude, my favorite rapper when I was growing up was fucking Lil Wayne, yeah, Kanye, Jay Z, like them type of guys, yeah. like that's what I and then like just that's just I just picked it up from there, just my music sense, and then DJing just came from um I was watching a video um. Uh, Slick Rick and um, Slick Rick and um, Dougie Fresh. Dougie Fresh, yeah. The show, they got a video. They uh, performed it at BET Awards, mm-hmm. and I was I was just watching it. I'm like, how can I like get the crowd? Cause the crowd was just crazy. Right. And then I was just looking at the DJ who was doing it. I don't know who was up there. I think it was fucking um, Grandmaster Flash, and I was like, damn, I want to do that. Like let me do you know I know the music so let me get the turntable so I had like two turntables you had to add the disc in there mm-hmm. and mix it from there. <laughs> you had to mix it from there. Hell yeah, and that shit. That's that's basically how I started. Just find it, just find it in myself. Basically, just right. find it. Let me ask you: Do you scratch? Yeah, I, I, do all, I do all that, bro. Oh, that's dope, I'm, and man. I'm still learning. And I'm still learning. See, DJs get on get on these podcasts and these interviews and just say, "Oh, I'm, I'm the best. I'm the this." I'm still learning this shit as I go. Right. Even though I I'm, I got all these accolades, I'm still learning to this day. You know what I'm saying? I don't call myself a, a scratching DJ. I call myself like I'm a I'm an entertainer more than. A DJ. That's why I don't put DJ Nudie Forever on my name. I'm just Nudie Forever. Because mm-hmm. you don't know what you get. Like, I, I be rapping, too. Like, I make beat. I do everything. Right. I engineer music. Like, it's everything to me. So, it's a not. jack of all trades. Yeah, it's not just. I hate when they put DJ Nudie Forever. Like, ah, that just. It tickles me. But it's cool. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> you can't put no title on you or no, yeah. no label or, yeah. or job description. Um. Who taught you? Did you teach yourself or? Yeah, I taught myself. Yeah, was it YouTube around or you just played around with it? I just played around with yeah, it. Yeah, that's crazy. I never looked on YouTube to see how to DJ. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I got a little uh, what do you call that a little uh, turntable? I be uh, scratching. Uh-huh. And my girl got me one because I always wanted one. I was like, man, I used to go to like them stores like on the east side and stuff and listen to the records. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm going to give me one of these. And I'm like, I just really want one to scratch on that. Yeah. One. And that's cold, bro. Yeah. Like, that, that's, that, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, you've been uh, doing this for a while, man. Um, mm-hmm. What's your favorite place? Where is your favorite place to DJ? The favorite, my favorite place. Uh, I don't want to, uh, because you be everywhere. The, the promoters, I don't yeah. want them to 
Um, right now, recently, it's been um, Mr. B's. I like uh, the vibe in yeah, Mr. B's. Mr. Mr. B's is, is is just giving me the exposure to just you know get in my bag yeah. to where I don't have to keep playing the same one time, like the same Dame Dots and P. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just the the broaden the. The the music we listen to in Milwaukee on an right. everyday basis, I get to you know go in my deep in my bag. That's another way with Prime Social. I could do that there too. I can go through Afro beats, fucking all type of you know what I'm saying. I can go everywhere. So Mr. B's and Prime Social definitely oh, those, those two for sure. I haven't been see. I don't really go out. Um, yeah. Prime Social like it be lit. Yeah, Mr. Man. B's was lit. I went to Mr. B's, man. That that, that, that I like that. Bro. How you think I did? You did good, bro. You was turned, bro. <laughs> like you was playing every day. Yeah. I was like, damn, it's like hit after hit after hit, no misses. Yeah, and everybody Thank was in there having a it. yeah, bro. And everybody was in there having a good time. We was lit because of birthday. I seen a couple other familiar faces. And I yeah. was like, it was lit. Sometimes it was it's good vibe. to just come out and just enjoy yourself. It is, bro. And it was a vibe. Like, you be needing that to unwind and all that. Yeah, for sure. And that's when I seen you and on my way. I'm like, man, you don't, <laughs> you don't need it, man. Let me shake his hand. <clears throat> that's crazy, man. Um, has you Have you ever had a bad experience, like a bad DJ performance? So, listen to this. This is going to trip you out. So, I wouldn't say this is a bad experience i had a couple bad experiences but yeah. i'm gonna tell you the recent one and it was like at least like two weeks ago probably like last week uh, um i was at mr b's oh, shit. and i opened up my computer right and i was loading and it was loading it kept loading it was still at the loading screen i'm like whoa what's going on 30 minutes pass it's still there 30 minutes more pass still there so they so my computer's not coming on at this point so they have a little tablet next to me that plays music before i get there right so I called a couple of my DJ homies like, man, I need a computer. Ooh. Everybody's like, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. So I'm so basically while I got my little brother calling people for me, I'm DJing on a fucking uh, tablet they yeah. got right here. And you know, people don't know this, but I'm working off the tablet on the mic. You know what I'm saying? The show must go on. So I guess um Tuck, shout out to D Tuck. Craig at Mr. B, shout out my big brothers. Um, they called DJ Sherio and he came with his computer and I just put my hard drive in there and just got to getting busy like I normally do. Yo. Shout out to DJ Sherio for that. That's so love. That's super love, super love, because that was the first time I met him. Yo, um I know that was a scary night, bro. Yeah. I been panicking, bro. That was like two weeks ago, bro. And I had the next day I bought a whole new twenty twenty two MacBook. Like I'm like, nah, I'm too far in my I'm too far in my career to be going through yeah. this. But you know, stuff happens, so Yeah, um I can imagine how, how nervous that could have been. Hold on. But yeah, man, I can imagine how like, like nervous that could have been because it could have went left, and yeah. especially if somebody couldn't have like came and brought you. Yeah, something. yeah, that would have been sick. <laughs> yeah, shout out DJ Terry he came through and looked out for you. For shout sure. out DJ Terry for sure. Now you definitely been going crazy in the city. Yeah, um, I see a lot of people know you. Yeah, definitely. Um, now if it's somebody, if somebody out here right now that probably need a party, they want a party and need a DJ. How much would it be to book Nudie forever mm -hmm. to DJ that event? So, um, I feel like I'm reasonable. Um, I didn't work for this price. I mean, I used to, man, I, been, I didn't took so many bookings. I probably did over 100 bookings, mm -hmm. like, since I've been DJing, like, way past 100, for right. sure. Right. Um, and, like, I used to get paid... Like one fifty for like five hours and shit. That's like, crazy. Yeah, but that's the that's the grind. Yeah, you that's the grind. You gotta that. start somewhere just to all, get your name yeah, up. All DJs, you, if uh, DJs, if you you're starting, please do not come in here demanding your price. Like you have to work for it. Like you literally have to work for it. You have to show how good you are, and that's that's what I did. So I'm two hundred an hour now. I feel like that's reasonable. Yeah. So. Cause I'm bringing you a show. I'm bringing you whatever you want. What package you want, I got it. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever you need, right. just hit my DM, hit my manager, and we can, you know, we we'll get it popping. Right. And you've been, you've been. Um, um, I know you said you've been doing this since you was ten, but like, when did you first get booked? Like, and start getting like 
to okay. the point where you can charge two hundred dollars. Okay, so I'm gonna go from ten to sixteen. So when I was ten, I was just doing bookings for like backyard parties and things like that. You know, shit like that, like f- through the family. Yeah. So like around like sixteen, like I started doing house parties with this girl named Angie. Got fans. I don't know if you heard of her, but she's like a promoter too. Yeah. And we was doing house parties, and that that shit just buzzed my name. That's how I like that's it was just buzzing. Like my name was just buzzing through sixteen, and then like to twenty nineteen, um, I did my first show at Tycoon for Rod Wave. That was my first show in the club. I did that. And shit, that shit was so fucking lit. And then after that, I just been club after club. I went to Tycoon. Then I went to Kiss. Then I went to Prime, Mr. B's. I done did Walkers. I done did Element multiple times. Hex, Nightclub. Every 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 club, every club um, that's really a club, I done did, basically. Courthouse everywhere. Any. Courthouse, damn. <laughs> yeah, I did courthouse when it was courthouse. Yeah, now, penthouse, everything. Right now, uh, is it the, is it the same? Just two hundred for every event, and no matter what event it is, it's always two hundred. See, like those are my residencies, so I get paid. I get paid the same rate, and that rate be like three hundred. Like. I get paid three hundred for like four hours. You know, yeah. the clubs stay open for four hours, so I get paid three hundred. Yeah, but that's a residency. So, but for my like personal bookings, personal events, personal um, you know, personal events like weddings and birthday parties and things like that, etc. Like that's two hundred an hour. Like them right. are them are my bookings. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. But with the club, it's like you threw some. Like it's like you get a paid yeah. gig. You're getting your manager is finding these gigs. Type yeah. Thing, yeah. You. Type thing. Or I'm fine. Or I'm finding them too. Right. They, or they hit me up. You know what I'm saying? If my manager can get to it, I can get to it. You know right. what I'm saying? We a team. Okay, that's what's up, man. Definitely. Um, now I heard you. You just said you was de- you DJed for Rod Wave when he came here. Yeah. Um. It was it was other artists you DJ for as well, right? Like, yeah, man. I just posted my accolades like uh, two days ago or yesterday. That. That yeah. And we could read some down. I would, yeah, yeah. Read some down some so people down. can know, so they can know. I just posted who, who this. Talking to right now. Yeah. Who um, we dealing with? So I DJ for Babyface Ray twice. I mean three times. Bankroll, Freddie, Lil Jeremy, No Cap, Skillet Baby, Tay B, Rick Ross, Boston Rishi, Super Bad, Tusi, Two Times, Peasy, Baby Baby Money, Rich Homie Kwan, Sterl Gotti, 42 Doug, Ride Wave, All Star JR, Whoa. Baby Smooth, JD Youngin, RP, Erica Banks, Dream Dow, Big Boogie, and I forgot to put um, Sleazy World. I did him Going too. Going crazy. All them names, <laughs> man. Now, yeah. how does that work? Is it still the same thing? Like, do the club, do the club actually do, or is it like. Um, yeah, the promoters just, the promoters, like, they know I'm the one, so they right, just call right. me. Now, when the celebrities get here, is the, is, the, is the bag a little bit bigger? or Sometimes it is. They feel sometimes, like sometimes it definitely be bigger. Sometimes it don't. But I, I'm, I'm cool. I mean, I'm just thankful right. I'm doing what I'm doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, I kind of don't really do this shit for money because at the end of the day, I'm going to always get money anyways. I just do it for, like, I like to ha- see people lit. Like, I just yeah. like, I, they just give me adrenaline rush. Like, right. damn, like, this is fire. Right, and, and that's dope to hear you and say And I love that. music. Yeah, because uh, and like you said, money always going to come. You got to have that passion for it. Yeah, for sure. Or anything. Um, is it pros and cons to DJ into you? And if so, yes, what are the pros and cons? Uh, which one you want me to give you first? Uh, pros. The pros of DJ. Um, exposure. Um, money. Um the pros getting in, getting in clubs for free if you ain't working yeah. getting going, getting ex- escorted through the back <laughs> always you know what I'm saying um, that VIP treatment yeah VIP treatment uh, women <laughs> um they be on you like women be on the DJ. Yeah, and women, women love DJs. That's I can't. I, 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 I ain't. I ain't. Yeah. But I ain't. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling right now. I can't even. You know, I ain't gonna disclose right. nothing. But 
You know what I'm saying? That's pros. I guess that's a couple pros if I'm leaving out some shit. I am. Um, cons. People come into the DJ booth like, I'm a DJ to where I'm focused working. So when you come tap me, that irritates me. Like, even if you're a beautiful girl or, or a rich nigga, like, if you touch me while I'm DJing, I'm going to look at you a certain way because why are you touching me while I'm DJing? Like, that, that just irritates me because it's like, Bro, I'm working. Like, I have, this is a crowd I'm DJing for. So, if something happens and you fuck up my mix, I'm going to look at you crazy because, like, watch out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's a, that's the thing. People being at the booth just next to you just, you know, so they can look like, oh, they up there with the D. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People crazy. They really be doing that Yeah, stuff? <laughs> bro. People be oh, man. People crazy. And just uh, that. Uh, what's another? Um... When promote when the when the club when the club not crack like lit or nothing like that, if promoters try to uh, short you on your cash, that's a that's a con. Yeah, I hate that. They don't they don't really do that to me no more because I I, I kind of stand on it this year. Like this year, I was I like, I raised my price up on on the, on the promoters too this year. So I wasn't really going for that this year. And um, shit, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> yeah. That's crazy, man. Um, you got to know your worth out here nowadays, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's twenty twenty three, bro. Like if you if you if you're not doing putting in the work and knowing your worth, and you just taking less just because you need the cash, don't do like God's gonna give you a blessing at the end of the day. Like if you guys out, you fact. guys timing, bro. Just keep working and just keep like I was. I just been working, bro. Like I didn't. I didn't get where I'm at or. Or continue going just off he say, she say. Like, I put in the work, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. I literally put in the work. And that's a lot of times a lot of people don't be want to put the work in. They or they want the overnight success and a lot of times it don't it don't happen like that. Definitely. It don't happen like that. Now, day balling. My hot, brother. Yeah. Hot artist, man, right now in the streets in Milwaukee. My brother. Going crazy. Only been rapping for a year. He was up here Monday. He was here Monday. Um, good episode, dope episode. Um, a good, good guy, man. Yeah. Nice, good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Now, how did you get into like uh, being his DJ? So me and Day, bro. So like, Day followed me on Instagram. Like my little brother be playing his music and shit. I'm like, who is this? Yeah. I'm like, he hard and shit. He just started following. Like. I don't know. It was just one day, like, we was, he was just on my Instagram. He was, like, showing love. I show love back. So we just started showing love to each other. And then I'm like, bro, you got it, bro. So I'm like, to help me with my business and to help him with his, you know, with, to help each other career, I feel like we should we come together. I be your DJ. You be my art. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's how it was. Right. That's yeah. basically how it was. And we rocking now. We taking shows. We taking bookings right now. Yeah, because like like uh, the work ethic both of y'all got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you every weekend, damn near almost a couple of days out the week and stuff. You're doing a show, uh, DJing. You got your name out here. Yeah, and he's this artist on the scene that just blew up and steady, staying consistent and putting the work Dropping in. Tapes, 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 man. and all that. Man, it's like BBL on the way. Right, y'all could damn near be like a, who knows, like the new like. Dre and Snoop and YG and Mustard how the yeah. DJ and the rapper came up and stuff like yeah. that. It definitely can happen. That's based, man. That's crazy. You said that that YG and Mustard is kind of like the thing I'm trying to go yeah. for, bro. Yeah. Oh God. You you make beats too? Yeah, I make beats too. Wow. I make I'm, I definitely make beats too. Now let me ask you this, because uh, how much like how much do you charge for beats? Like I don't put prices on beats because I don't sell beats. Like I'm still I make beats like. Just to like listen to them and just perfect my craft, be, perfect my yeah. craft before I start selling them. Right. Like you know what I'm saying. I just started making beats probably like a year ago, yeah. <laughs> so I'm still learning it. So you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know how that process could be because I was making beats once before, yeah. and I was learning, and I was like, I quit and I get it's back crazy. on it. Quit. It's crazy. Yeah. But nowadays, like even though it's like on YouTube, it's still kind of like. Yeah, it's there, but at the same time, you still gotta perfect it and put yeah, it in your yeah. own. You have to make you your have own. To do it, yeah, you, know? you gotta make your own unique sound. That's a, that's a fact. And, um, it, it ain't easy all the time, but um, YouTube definitely helps. Now, definitely. 
the career, I see you rapping as well. Like, what yeah. made you want to be a rapper as well? So, like, cause I can rap, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. It's not, it's not too much to it. Like, I can really rap, like, really rap too. Like, I'm really good at it. I, but I'm not a rapper though. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a DJ. Mm -hmm. I'm an entertainer. I'm not, I'm not solidifying myself as just one thing but i'm not a rapper though like i rap like and i make music and i like to make albums and shit and put them out like just because i just like that shit like right. i grew up buying cds and shit like every what albums used to come out tuesdays yeah yeah so i used to go to like target and shit and buy the albums and shit so I, like, I don't want always want to do that for myself and shit that's what it was but i don't really be rapping like that no more i dropped the tape last year Fat Baby 2 That was cool Yeah that's dope I see you got some Dope visuals too Like I said um, Definitely got a good work ethic they're gonna Good swagger about yourself Yeah it's Trying bro Yeah um, Do you get a lot of DMs uh, back, Let me ask you something that's Back about the DJ thing mm -hmm. Do you get a lot of DMs With a lot of rappers Like Asking you to like Break their record and stuff And then Yeah Have you ever broken any records Yeah Um Man, I didn't broke. I didn't broke fucking host and promoters like uh, my guy Snoopy. Like I feel like Snoopy never used to be on the mic and stuff before I gave him the mic. Um, shout out my nigga Snoop. Uh, he, now he like hosting and getting paid to do uh, being on the mic and shit. Like yeah, I kind of started Snoop doing that. So like um, with like breaking records, like I never really broke a record yet. I've been trying to. We, I've been trying to. Uh, we pushing that day Ballins field trip though. I'm pushing that crazy. Yeah. The song with Munch Lauren. That's going. Yeah. That's that's getting buzzed right now. And he just dropped that right. Yeah. I, I, um. Sunday. I just played that at Hex like three times. Like. <laughs> and I never going do. Crazy? They yeah. going crazy for man, it. Man. Man. What? <laughs> the ladies is man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful ladies going crazy to that shit. So yeah, that shit going crazy. So I'm trying to break that record. Um, a couple months back, I got a song by Jacob Lattimore before it came out, and I was playing that in the club a couple times. But I got paid for that. So that was dope, man. Yeah. Um, Jacob Lattimore, Milwaukee's own. Yeah, shout out Jacob have, have Lattimore. You, have you met him before? No, I haven't met him, but um, we follow each other on Instagram. Oh, that's dope. That's yeah, dope. I know his guy Sawyer. I heard him before. Sawyer Gibson, yeah, I heard it. Okay, so, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know. Him. Yeah, Sawyer, he be singing too. Shout out Sawyer. <clears throat> now, um, it's another artist here that I um see you got a connection with that you told me about. My boy Playway Kev, man. Yeah, man. that's that's my brother though. That, yeah. Like that's my really like that's, that's a real brother. No, no, that, oh, like, that's like, my, like yo, okay. No, <laughs> literally though. It's, yeah, bro, that's bro. Yeah, that's I, know ta it. we tapped in for sure. Um. I know his parents and shit, like, but yeah, um, yeah, bro, man, like that's a dope. Man. He, he, I like bro, bro. Like yeah. he got, I like his his way he carry himself, yeah. his swag and his humbleness and his his music, yeah, bro. Like, like I, I just, I, I'm talented, I, bro. Yeah, I wish, like you know, I don't know how how often he draw visuals and stuff. Yeah, he just dropped the visual two days ago. I want to say. No, okay. yeah, he just dropped. He just dropped. He just dropped the EP like last month too. Yeah, I remember that. When, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, he been he's he been should, dropping. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I just feel like he should be in a higher space. Like yeah. you know, what I'm saying I got a lot of top, you know, a lot of artists I mess with from here. And yeah, I, I remember when I first heard about bro was that song he had jump. Yeah, that went crazy. And he shot that with Ray Shotta. That was dope. Yeah, was um, cool. I feel like see that's like kind of with me too. Like um. The audience he kept, the audience for him is not in Milwaukee. That's a fact. That's that's, a fact. that's just what it is. Like that's exactly what it is. He could he can only get far here. His audience isn't here, so it, it's gonna take from bro to move and ex explode. Like because once he moved to Atlanta or LA, he's gonna explode. Facts. Based off just being out there. Facts. <laughs> Have you ever talked about doing that? Yeah, we, t we me and him talk all the time about that. Uh, he did move to Atlanta a couple. Oh, um, yeah, he went to school there. Yeah, he went to school out there, but I guess some shit happened. He had to come back home. But I think he, I, I feel like I think he he um he thinking about moving back. I'm thinking about moving. Um, well, nine times out of ten, I am moving after this year. 
I'm moving to um, Houston, Texas. Okay. Yeah, I've been thinking about moving to Houston. I was just in Houston a couple months ago. I just DJed out there for a festival, and they yeah. was just showing. They gave me the war- the most warm welcome. Like yeah. the hospitality out there is crazy. Yeah, Houston, one of them places, like it's a party city for yeah. sure. Yeah, like, like, but I was getting like good, like I was getting like good love from like the top niggas out there, like top DJs yeah. out there, like James Harden DJ, like his name Rich uh, Rich Stone. Good DJ, he get like five G's a show type shit. That's like crazy. he was just showing me love. Like shout out to all the DJs I met down there. Shout out Trusted Fest. Shout out Rico. Yeah, shout yeah. out all them. Shout out DJ Breezy, <clears throat> my brother. That's that's a dope. That'd be a dope spot for you, bro. Yeah, um, that's 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 been in my head since I, since I left there. I've been like, man, I gotta come back. Yeah, that. Right, let me ask you, you got booked for that? Yeah, I got booked to DJ wow. in Houston. Yeah, that's dope. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Houston would definitely be a good spot for sure. Um, you know, we Milwaukee is definitely our hometown, but we might sometimes we gotta like expand mm. just to continue to put the city on. Facts, facts. Yeah. Um, what is your plan? Like, what is your plan as far as being a DJ and stuff like that? What What is your goal? So my plan is like my like I don't set goals for myself anymore because it's like I just live my life because I didn't lost so many people. So it's just like. That should be like, like I don't be caring about that shit. But like a goal for me, kind of like, I just really want to just like take this DJing shit to the next level to where I'm DJing festivals like Rolling Loud and Coachella and just having my own set as a DJ. Like being a DJ as an artist, right? You get what I'm saying? They treat me like, you know what I'm saying? Like fucking Gordo or like a, um, what's his name like black coffee or something like yeah having my own like set <laughs> home set where it's yeah, like it's just, like you the artist and you just playing your music yeah, and everybody vibing yeah. out to you and stuff. exactly it could definitely come bro I, um go ahead, go ahead yeah um and i i don't i don't i mean if if it comes to me like being a radio dj if that comes to me like that'd be cool too but i, I never was in the field of doing that i just want to do like Big crowds, bro. That's that's just always been my dream is just doing big crowds. Have you did Summerfest before? No. Oh, that'd be dope too. And I'm trying to get in it, like things like that. Like I'm trying to get in, like, and I know people like tapped in with it. I've been asking, but like people, like, I don't know, bro. People, I feel like people are scared of like my destiny sometimes. Like people are scared that I'm gonna surpass them, and it, I mean, yeah. I know I am, but to where it is, like. Bro, just let me in the door, bro. Like, I'm the type of nigga, like, if I'm in the door, you in the door. Like, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what it is. People be scared that you're going to pass them. I don't want to give them that knowledge because that's just how it be, bro. Like, you got to, you got to, you got to, like, you know what I'm saying, showcase and and give that love, bro. And, like, Mm -hmm. share information just to, to make us thrive and go further, you know, stuff like that. We always got to do that because um, without, if everybody keep doing that, it's like, how are we going to get further if people just keep hiding information or scared Facts. or don't want this person to, you know, I ain't never been there. I'm going to give you information. I got a lot of people ask mm-hmm. me, hey, what you do, what you use, or how this and that. I give them the game, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I'm not scared about if you're going to pass me up or whatever the case may be. Yeah. It, it might be, so be it. But we still doing the thing. As long as I'm doing my thing and you're doing your thing, that's all that matter, man. Facts. You know for real. Saying? Now, um, my final question for you, man, is, um, What's what's next for Nudie? Oh um, man, what's next? Um, so I was on a phone call with uh, um a very 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 important person um by the name of Tony Neal. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Tony Neal. <laughs> me and Tony Neal was talking yesterday. He called me. He said we might. He said we finna meet. So who knows? That's all Maybe that's I might OG. be, might you know what I'm saying? I might be, I might, I might be in the core core DJ family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that might be the next step. I never, I might be honest. I never like really like looked at that and was like, yeah, I want to be that. But I mean, the, this opportunity presents itself. Um, DJ Kev texted me yesterday. Like my name was brought in a meeting yesterday. He said price went up, and then Tony Neal called me. He was just like. Just all these good accolades is just, that's what's next. Like, just me keep working. You know what I'm saying? I got 
a gig tonight. I got a gig tomorrow. I got a gig Friday. I got two gigs Saturday, two gigs Sunday. Like, crazy. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in my prime right now just based on this city. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, just keep going, bro. <laughs> That's right. all I want to do, bro. Keep going. Bro. As you said, bro. Like, you know it, it's dope to see you getting that recognition and stuff and all them accolades and getting booked back to back and stuff <laughs> like that. Um. Tony Neal, man, that's that's a that's a that's a big name right there when it yeah. comes to Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying, or just the industry. Period. A lot of people know Tony Neal and all that stuff. Like, it's just a blessing to start getting them people to really like reach out to you, bro. Definitely. And you've been putting a lot of work in, bro, to the point I see a lot of that happening to you, bro. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Like, cause like I said, you've been everywhere. I've been seeing you everywhere, hearing your name. You mm. know what I'm saying? You, you've been a household name, yeah. bro. Like, it's just. It's just dope to like um, to see that, bro. And I honestly see you going far, bro. Cause I like the way you like you know carry yourself, and you got a good head on your shoulder. Yeah, you know? thank you, bro. Yeah, for sure. You got that ambition, bro. I yeah. can see it happening. And um, I just want to give you your flowers while you're here. That's why I like doing yeah. my podcast as well. Yeah. And um, I want to thank you for coming up here. For sure, bro. Yeah. Keep doing this. I appreciate what you're doing. I be at home high watching all the interviews. Yeah. The one you did with Lyle Pack. The yeah. one you did with RB. Um, who else? A couple people. Man, man you still did way more. I though. watch this all the time. Ray Rizzy. Yeah. I watch that one. I be watching this shit all the time, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Like I said, uh, now you added to the collection. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now man. I'm on here, man. Y'all make sure y'all watch this and come fuck with my boy Rick Taylor for yeah. sure. Yeah, man. Um, like I said, thank you for being, because you could have been anywhere else, but you know, yeah. you're busy. So you stopped in here to and talk no, about it. Man, the reason I'm on this podcast, y'all, I DM'd him and said, I need to be on here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yep. I told him, man. Yep. And it was put on me you, out here. And it made sense. It was only a matter of time because bro been going crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I just like I just like to talk to people and let people know more about me and more, you know what I'm saying? Right. I like to talk about music. <laughs> That's a fact. Yeah, for sure. And let the people know where they can find you at, man. Um, all social medias, um, Nudie Forever. That's N U D I Forever. Yeah. Everywhere. Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. And y'all know what's going on, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with him, man. Book my boy, because he be going crazy on the ones and twos. And I can honestly vouch for him. I was at Mr. B's last weekend. <laughs> he was going crazy on the yeah. ones and twos, man. And uh, um, I want to thank everybody who's been just vibing with us and checking us out and, and watching the show and the interviews and the podcast and subscribing. Make sure y'all keep doing that. You know, y'all hear that phone and them, them phones going on. We busy out here, man. For Legal real. dumpers. <laughs> <laughs> I said, but no, man, much love to y'all, man. Keep watching it. Uh, y'all tap in with us, man. We out. Rick Taylor and Nudie Forever. Love.